Hello everyone, welcome to Noble Creative Tutorials and today I will show you how to create procedural abstract fire flames and wave backgrounds animation in Adobe After Effects without using any third party plugins. So create your composition and let's get started. So the first thing you need to do after clear composition is green is solid, let's rename in these fractal map. And then of course apply fractal noise here. And let's switch here to subscale, spline 300 and minus 25. And let's just set one on complexity and 300 on scale. And then let's add time expression to evolution here just to add some animation to these and then i want to animate offset turbulence just a keyframe here and at the end i want just to add these on x so just going to animating from left to right this is going to give us nice animation to the fire flame so now let's just basically add fast box blur and set these to 50. Just going to soften the whole thing. And then what I'm going to do here is just create a new solid and let's rename these CC ball. So basically we are going to apply CC ball action. So make sure to update After Effects to get the latest feature here which is displays which is very important for this tutorial. First thing here let's crank up these displays to 20. And you can see what's going on here. Let's just crank up these more. Just going to displace these map basically we created. To get an idea, let's create a new camera here and then just hit OK. And let's create a new orbit for these. And let's just rotate this camera just so you can see what's going on here. And you can see here what's going on. So basically you have the camera, you can play with that, you can see we got these um, displacement but that's too much so let's set that to 20 and you can see here on the CC ball action we got here space and you can see we got those spheres there and right here we got the shading just change that shading for that and the color in here it just sometimes you need to switch to different modes here but for now we're just going to keep it smooth in the minus hindrance and here, of course, we have the size. And so let's set these to zero. And you can see we get really nice looking here. Just not too smooth, but we still can see here uh, these balls, even if we crank up these to 200. But that's not what we want because this is getting too thick right there. So I'm going to set that to 30. And you can see here we got like a nice mesh. You still can play with great spacing and stuff like that. I'm going to set that to zero. So everything else for now, we don't need to touch it. By default, this place property is set to brightness and that's what we want. So basically to create pretty nice soft fire flame animation, we still have to do a few stylizing to this. We're getting a nice animation to these, which is pretty cool as these fractal map animated, driven by these fractal map so we don't have to do any extra animations so now what I'm going to do here just apply camera lens blur here and we need to soften that you can see by default set to 5 and let's see hindered on roundness here and also play with this aspect ratio here so for now let's go for 3 and you can see here it's just like adding some motion blur to that that's fine that's what we want here. And this aspect ratio uh, basically fix so many issues and you will see what's going on later. So now let's just apply curves and see that just after seizable action. And let's switch to alpha here. So now we're going to control the highlights here because we want just to show very nice highlights and nice details. And I'm going to add a minimax here and switch to maximum then minimum 
and all fun color don't shrink and set these probably to three just if there is gaps there just going to close that maximum the pixels then minimize it and so what I'm going to do here is just apply CC cross and by default nothing happened but just by switching to add you can see now we're going to get some really nice highlights you can basically add some blur to the Y or X and you can see what's going on sometimes helpful to get that for pretty nice kind of looks I'm just going to keep that zero and then add in new curves here and probably just crank app here curve and also here lower a little bit of the alpha here always we're going to tweak the curves because they are the keys here to make these nice highlights and so basically now everything is set up here but before that let's just add a new adjustment layer and let's rename these glow and then add glow here I'm going to crank up the threshold to 100 and 250 on radius and 1.5 on intensity things start looking pretty interesting here and then control V to duplicate that just reset these and intensity I'm going to set these to 0.1 well you can see this too bright but always we can go back to our curves here and adjusting that both curves here we can also just lower that sometimes take um, effect just deepen on the coloring as well deepen on colors in the look and glow the curves make things look a little bit different so basically that's what we get but let's just add a new adjustment layer and this is going to be the color and let's apply colorama here and you can see when we apply that everything just look weird and right here we just need to enter modify alpha and then choose a nice preset here I'm going for fire preset and then I'm going to switch here this phase to alpha here and things start looking pretty nice and let's add transform just to scale this a little bit here probably just five pixels and see that on top here you can see we just get off these edges fixing that and you can see here we have some bending there we can go back to CC ball and go into the lens here probably go four on the aspect ratio and then it's going to smooth this out a little bit probably just three on the radius or just four as well things start looking pretty nice another thing here on fractal I'm going to switch these to soft clamp and this is going to make these look pretty nicer it just switching from blacks make them a little bit gray there and also here if we lower these basically um, to 20 just going to get more of that fractal representation here so if we just get rid of these blur here you can see all of these you can see these details here even if we just add complexity which is pretty cool you can go for some pretty nice looks right here so I'm just going to see that to one and get back these to 50 and probably now just make sure it's not too bright here and we can also add another curves here just lower these highlights a little bit and the alpha channel as well just to get some really nice highlights and so another adjustment layer and this is going to be looks and I'm going to apply here a metric color and basically switch into a nice preset here so probably going for this one in the lower saturation to just 90 here probably just like that looks a little bit gold and then add sharpen here sharpen that a little bit just to get these details back because it would blur it and then add noise here and just go for five antique use colors 
things start looking pretty nice here, as you can see. So let's preview and see how this looks like. So as you can see guys, this looked pretty cool and was easy to create using the new feature on CC Ball Action. And basically with the same setup, you can create endless results here. And I'm going to show you that right now. So for example here, let's just go to this one here and I'm going to open Essential Graphics. So basically here what I did just linked the most important things to make it easier for me to switch the same setup here. So for example here I can change um, the color and that's going to make it easier. So here for example I have this color, the same setup unless I add here um, CC Turner and Hue Saturation, everything else is the same. Just to make it easier for me to recolor things. So for example here I can switch to different hue and getting really nice results so quickly change that and right here I have seats and I can just switch and get really quickly different fractal noise here and the cool thing about this is that everything here is transparent so this is the most important thing so we can compose that on top of anything else you need and so another thing here for this example you can see that let me switch to this pre-render version here you can see here the same setup but just with a few tweaks here let's turn on or open these essential graphics here and also here the same setup uh, ball action here so the only difference here basically is the twist so if you can see here let's turn off first these render version here and if we use twist angle and switch probably to brightness here and then just one it's just going to make these pretty nicely and of course here we don't need to rotate the camera because it's the same camera as um, parameters here almost so just using uh, twist give us different things and of course here we can get uh, different fractals from here and that's pretty cool and so right now these dot mesh which is pretty cool as well here so just have some pretty nice uh, space on these grid which is make it pretty nicely here and all the difference here is we apply the color right after these fractal and just using ramp and calculation basically you don't need to use calculation you can just go and switch body mode to color there's a slight difference with uh, how the colors look just so you can get the idea everything else is the same here and that's pretty cool because you can get really nice look to these CC ball action is basically one on great space and 15 on ball size you can play with these shading and stuff like that so you can see how that's too bright so I switch it to a hindrance and basically everything else is the same setup and turn off here across because we don't need that to be too bright it just depends how you want things to look like and here we have these lines which is another thing here so we can even get some pretty cool nice uh, stuff looking like lines the whole thing here is adding venetian blinds and just crank up these um, ball size here so everything else is basically the same here just adding Venetian blinds we got a pretty nice look here that can be used motion graphics and stuff like that and basically you can animate um, the camera here as well and that's going to give you pretty uh, nice angles just depends on how you want things to look like. So here another example easily you can create really nice and endless looks on these and also you can create some pretty nice looping animation and the key is to create a nice 
looping fractal map and it's pretty easy to do that just cycle evolution and then you can just loop in your map and the animation is going to keep going so that's it guys hope this tutorial was very useful for you as always and if you have any questions just comment and i will do my best to be responsive and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming soon and thank you for watching <music>